in this video we will look at pancake sorting algorithm so as the name says we have to do sorting we will be given a list of numbers and our task will be to sort them and this has been asked in uh, facebook amazon microsoft and uber interviews so let's see an example so here we will be given one input array or list and the numbers here will be from 1 to its size so its size is 4 so numbers will be from 1 to 4 and all numbers are unique so if you have an array a of size let's say 5 then we have 1 2 3 4 5 so some permutation of this will be there in a and uh, this is the output and we will see how to arrive at this output so in this problem what we have to do we are allowed to uh, do one operation only and that's called flip and flip uh, this is the original array a and if we flip let's say k then it means flip all the elements from beginning till kth index that is flip means reverse so for example we have 3 2 4 1 so here the first one is 4 that means flip till fourth element so fourth element is this one uh, this uh, output should be based on one based indexing uh, but in the code uh, we can think of it as index 3 so 4 is same as 3 index 3 because index starts from 0 this is the expected format so this 4 means flip from beginning till fourth element so let's do the flipping so it's reversed so 1 comes here 4 comes at second place so read it in reverse direction 1 4 2 3 this part is done next 2 that is first element second element so flip these two only so from beginning till here then from beginning till here so it becomes 4 1 2 3 remains as it is then it's 4 again so from beginning till 4 so it's 3 2 1 4 now 4 is at correct place next is 3 so 3 is this one so flip this part so it becomes 1 2 3 4 and now it's sorted so we will stop here and these are the flips that we performed 4 2 4 3 so let's see how we can solve it in general and here there is not a unique solution so what the condition is that uh, any uh, such list uh, by flipping which we get a sorted array is valid but there is some condition that it should be uh, less than 10 times its length so you are allowed to make at least at max 10 times its size so in this case 4 so you are allowed to make up to 40 flips and if that ordering of flips sorts the array then your solution will be accepted so let's see how to solve it so let's take a generic example first let's say we have an array of n elements so its numbers will be from 1 to n since it's given it will be some permutation of 1 to n if its size is n so what we will do we we are allowed to make 10 times n flips that is if we flip it once and we get one of the elements at the right place then we are good to go in n flips we can do that uh, or uh, a few more than n not just n but uh, almost twice then slightly less so let's see how uh, so we will search for the last number so we know that numbers are from 1 to n this is guaranteed due to its size so we will look at where this nth number is so let's say n is here so note that index i so this finding will take o n time in this list so we took n time and we searched for n then uh, what happens in flip let's say this is a bigger array and we flip from here to here so this part of the array remains unchanged so let's say our goal is to uh, make this last element at its correct place then we will be bothered only about this remaining part so this thought is coming from how to decrease the problem size so initially the problem size is n elements uh, we are trying to think how to make progress and then we are thinking what happens in flip so when we flip this part it has to start from beginning 0 till that index this is the flip operation after that it, it's unchanged so what if what if I uh, make the nth element put the nth element at its correct position then we will never be bothered about this one we can just focus on this part of the array n minus 1 
similarly in next step we will put n minus 1th element at correct place then we will not be bothered about this part only this part so we will be making progress in each step so how to put it here when we flip this this last element comes it at the beginning so in order to move n to the last element or wh whatever is the first element it moves to the last index of the flip that part of the array where we flipped so only way to move n here is to first move n to the first place and then flip this entire array then only it can come here nth element so this algorithm we will follow so first we will find where is nth element then we will flip this part of the array if it's at index i we will flip this part so in our result we will add i or if this index is from 0 we will add i plus 1 so this is now part of the uh, result and after flipping what will happen n will come here and whatever elements are here they will also get flipped what whatever was the first element comes here and this part remains unchanged then we have to flip this complete array so that it comes here so we will flip n so after two flips n is here now as per our earlier plan our plan was to reduce the problem size so our problem size is reduced to n minus 1 in the next step we will find n minus 1th element that will take n minus 1 time we will only search in this part we will never be bothered about this so finding n will take n time in worst case then n minus 1th element n minus 1 time and again repeat the two times let's say n minus 1th element is here then first flip this part of the array and then flip the part of the array from beginning till n minus 1 as promised we will never go to this side so this will be our boundary uh, but it may be possible that n minus 1 was already in the beginning so if we index is in the beginning itself there is no point in flipping just one it will remain at that place only so unnecessarily why count the extra flips so if it's in the beginning no need to uh, flip for the first time just flip the second part so there are two parts first bring this one here in the beginning and then flip the entire sub array with which we are concerned in the next step this will be gone and we will be concerned with this part of array so let's apply our this algorithm to the earlier example so it's 3 2 4 1 so here n is 4 where is fourth element it's here so note this index it's 1 2 3 so it will be 0 1 2 but here we have to make the solution based on one 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 based indexing starting from one so it's 0 1 2 so it will be 3 and flip this part so it will be 4 2 3 and this is 1 next flip this entire part that is 4 and now it becomes uh, 4 2 3 1 next we will this part is done we are now bothered about this part only next we will find 3 n minus 1 so 3 is here so flip this part so it's 2 and now it becomes 3 1 and we flip just this part so this will remain as it is and next flip this entire part so it becomes uh, 2 1 3 and now this part is done these two are at correct position 3 and 4 so find for 2 2 is here so no need to flip with itself just flip this part that is 2 and it becomes 1 2 3 4 and our algorithm works and uh, in this maximum we will have two flips for putting a number at its correct place and in some good cases like in this case it was already in the beginning we will not flip so worst case we can have uh, two n minus one flips this is the worst case why n minus one because when we have done for n minus one times the first win one will already be at correct place if everything else is at correct place first one will also be at correct place so this is the worst case that is 2n minus 2 which is well below 10n which we are allowed to do so i hope this is clear run through one example again and it should be clear to you it's very simple and uh, let's look at the time complexity here 
so searching for the nth element took n time then we had reduced the array size so then it will take n minus 1 time then n minus 2 time all the way up to 2 so 2 plus 3 plus 4 plus all the way up to n for simplicity let's add 1 also so it becomes n multiplied by n plus 1 by 2 that is o of n square and space we have to uh, return this list and it can have uh, 2n minus 2 elements so space is of the order of o of n and this space we anyway have to return something of the order of n so these are the time complexity so let's write the code for this if you have understood this writing so this code should be very simple So we don't know the result size beforehand otherwise we would have initialized it with that size. So why we are starting from n minus 1 till 0 because first we will put the last element at its correct position and here this solution will not work the other way. In many cases whatever whether you make progress from last to beginning or beginning to last both ways work. But here this flip operation is defined such a way that you have to flip everything from beginning till that index. So we are trying to solve the remaining part of the list so that we will be bothered about some prefix of that array. So let's write the logic for searching. So int j equal to 0 or uh, if it's one so let's first write the logic for search j less than equal to i so as we discussed we will be concerned till ith index and not beyond that so we are making progress so if a j is equal to i plus one so this is from n minus one to zero but actually numbers will be from a 1 to length and not length minus 1 to 0 so we are adding plus 1 if we found that number then flip we will define shortly this flip function a j and then since we flipped it it needs to be added to result j plus 1 because we are keeping indices i and j from 0 to some value but in the result we are expected to have one based indexing and break since we found that there is no point in searching for it further since there is unique occurrence so uh, this is the first flip and it brings that uh, ith number to the beginning next was to flip entire thing from beginning till i so next we will do flip a i and again whenever you flip you add to the result uh, but there is one redundancy here uh, let's say that i plus 1 was in the beginning of the array so we will flip 1 so flip 1 does not make any sense we are flipping the first index with itself so we can start this from 1 in that case this step will not execute it will just execute this part it's already in the beginning so just flip that complete prefix and after this uh, so this should be written after this not within the now we have to write a simple flip function which should be very simple flip it should take the vector we are passing it by reference
so we are swapping uh, the first with the last and so on and they will converge to the middle and let's try So your answer may not exactly match with expected as we can have uh, multiple solutions but it should be within 10n and it should be valid flip order. So let's submit and the solution is accepted and uh, we are here but you can try a few times uh, you should get better result. So let's write it in Java. And the Java solution is also accepted. And here also we are, it's 3 milliseconds, so most of the solutions are concentrated here. Now, finally, let's do it in Python 3. So, we don't need to define flip, we can do it in line, but let's. And the Python solution is also accepted.